We got a lively one here today. <laughs> Sophie Barksdale with Paws of Northeast Louisiana brought with us the king, with her, the king of canines here on Louisiana Living. And he is going to be the king of the crew of Janice Mardi Gras Parade. He was being good. He was sitting on the chair and uh, then he just got really excited when the cameras come on and came on. But uh, tell us a little bit about the, the king we have here today. <laughs> Clyde, he is a one-year-old English bulldog and he participated in our royal court contest. Um, it was just a fun way for us to try to raise some money for our nonprofit. And um, he was the lucky guy who was chosen as the king of the Crew of Paul's Pet Parade this year. Um, and we're very thankful for for everyone who donated, and Clyde just by himself raised almost $600. That is awesome. Way to go, Clyde! <laughs> and so what is Clyde going to be wearing in the pet parade? Do you know? So, I'm not sure what his parents have picked out for him, but uh -huh. he will have his own um, cape with his name on it. He'll also lead the parade, and so it's fun. He, you know, he'll get a few photo ops and get to lead the parade, and we're really, really excited about it. Okay, and so how will the money that Clyde raised and the other uh, pets raised be used? So we are a local nonprofit um, animal organization. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we have a couple of different programs um, that we raise money for first would be our rescue program where we pull dogs from local shelters or um, humane societies and we get them foster homes and we let them know how to be a family pet and then they end up going up north on transports mm -hmm. to um, usually to the north um, Vermont those areas um, and then we also have our humane education program where we visit different places maybe we'll have to visit here uh -huh. with our pet therapy team um, we also have a low income spay and neuter program that we help out families that are in our community to try to take care of our overpopulation so all the money that's raised um, through from our good friend Clyde uh -huh. and, and the other participants as well as any money that's raised from our actual parade uh, will go back into our community. I'm so happy it was successful. Yes. Okay so when can we see uh, Clyde lead, lead the uh, he will parade? He leading the pet parade uh -huh. on um, Saturday this coming Saturday it's um, on Trenton Street in Antique Alley. It's a really really fun family event. Come bring your family and and your friends and your pets uh -huh. and it's you know just a good Louisiana tradition Mardi Gras parade with a twist. Oh sorry Clyde. Does Clyde have a queen? <laughs> yes he does have a queen. His queen is um, Queen Lex. He has a whole court actually. Uh -huh. King and queen, two dukes and two duchesses. That so we're really excited awesome. and we're really glad that we're getting to do it. We missed having it last year. You know everyone really loves it and we were excited that everyone was ready to do it again. Okay, um, do we have any more time for questions or are we, I don't, I'm not hearing time cues. So, uh, well, great. Well, thank you so much for awesome. bringing thank Clyde. Thank you so and, uh, much. They will uh, start in downtown West Monroe. Yes. Of course, you can go to the Crew of Janice website to uh, look at the times of the pet parade, the children's parade, and uh, uh, the big parade, which will be rolling on Saturday night. So, Clyde, you did awesome. Can't wait to see you. And congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank Sophie, you so, so much. Well,